Koch from Heather D. Koch Floral Design. I'm going to show you how to do a really simple bridal bouquet in a bridal bouquet holder. You can get it all from your local florist. But the tr what we're going to do is a little twist on the actual um, stem treatment because you don't want to see this. Okay, so we're going to start. I got some beautiful garden roses. I've got a little bit of stock and I also have uh, some lysianthus. All right, now we're going to start here. I'll put a little bit of lysian just at the top. Actually, a little bit too tall because we're going to make it a very small little one. And we're going to put a little bit of pit in. This is green pittosporum. I've got it all sort of pre-cut here. Just randomly throw it in there. And there's some holes on the bottom of this. We'll put a little bit under there because we don't want to see the, the holder at all if we don't have to. So I'll just put a little bit all the way around. a bit. There we go. Give it a nice round shape. You just follow those holes and away you go. You don't even have to worry. Now you could just wrap your stem with some ribbon, this white stick, but we want to take it up a notch. If you want to look like a professional and someone who's on the cutting edge of what's trendy and what's not. Okay. So, got our lysianthus there, and I'm going to put a little bit more lizzie in. Put some lysianthus here, and maybe one on the other side. Nice and simple. And we don't want to forget these gorgeous little buds. Put a few in those as well. All right, so we're going to put in some stock. I think I had a little bit of color. It's beautiful, that fuchsia color is just stunning. Go, just spread it out nice and evenly. I think I dropped a couple here. There we go. Voila, some beautiful garden roses. And you just basically follow that shape and just keep going until you're happy with how your design looks. Nice and full. This would be nice for a bridesmaid's bouquet. Bigger one for the bride, perhaps. Okay. There we go. Put a little more of these... Uh, little blossoms in. I don't like to leave anything out in flowers just because it's a little blossom doesn't mean it's not going to look absolutely gorgeous in a bouquet. I think it looks like it should, like a natural garden element. Okay, a couple of leaves here. That's too big. I'm going to put that on the side. And one under here. Okay. And just a few more things here. I've got some roses here that'll look really nice in there. Just a couple. Fill up a bit of space. There we go. Now when you're doing your bouquets, it's, it's important to remember to keep it in proportion to the bride. If you have a teeny little bride, you wouldn't want something overpowering her, like a 20-foot cascade. You want to keep it in proportion and make sure that it looks like it fits her personality as well as her style of dress. All kinds of things goes into doing a bridal bouquet when we think about it. Okay, now I'm going to just quit there for a minute because what I want to do is actually show you a really neat technique. We're going to use this lily grass here. And I'm just going to use about two bundles and I'm going to cut off these ugly bits here. We don't like the ugly bits. This is a bridal bouquet, so you want to cut off all that brown kind of curled up stuff. I don't mind the white part of it, it's just the brown part. I don't want it for this particular application. I've got a little bit of uh, bouillon wire and what we're going to do is actually I'm going to take a bit of bouillon just to secure this for a second. 
Okay, and then we're just gonna hold it together there. Okay, and then we're gonna take this cute bouquet and we're going to wedge it inside the lily grass so that you're bringing it all the way up. Look at this, see that? And then just take your bouillon wire. There we go. It falls on the floor. You could even have a little bit of bouillon um, woven through your bouquet if you wanted to, which would look really pretty. Pull it fairly tight there because we want it to be secured in. You could use a little bit of glue as well, I just, which I would do if I was uh, doing this for a wedding, is gluing it in. Just keep going around and around. Now you could wire this whole thing perfectly and give it like a real curve if you wanted. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to wire it at the uh, binding point here. I love how the lily grass flows and moves. It's kind of a more of a modern take on a cascade without having all the flowers coming down. We have that gorgeous, gorgeous lily grass. And especially if you have a big flowy dress, I think it's really important sometimes to have a bit of movement to your bouquet. Looks nice in the videos. But if you don't want to have like a typical cascade, this is one way to go about doing something a bit different. Alrighty. Geez, I want to walk down the aisle again now. Maybe my little my man and I can renew our vows. Because I want one of these. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely fun? So just go ahead and you can make it as big as you want. You could add more lily grass. You could put beads on the lily grass if you wanted to. Whatever your imagination desires, just have fun with it. Thank you.